A polyline, after it has been made, can still be edited in AutoCAD. To understand how this works, we have drawn a shape in the worksheet using the Polyline tool. Now we will pick up the Edit Polyline tool from the Extended Options in the Modify panel. With that done, select the shape, and a list of options will appear for you to choose from. You can open or close the polyline, and even alter its shape from the various options given. If you wish to transform the shape into a linear drawing, select the D-Curve option. You can also undo your previous actions from here only. You can further edit the shape through its different vertexes. To do so, click on the Edit Vertex option. This now provides you with a new set of options. You can move around to different vertexes in the drawing by pressing either Next or Previous from the menu. Curved vertexes can be made linear, and several vertexes can be combined into a continuous line using the Straighten option. Click on the option, specify the vertexes, and click on Go. More vertexes can be added from the Insert option. Select it and draw more points in the worksheet. Similarly, positions of existing vertexes can also be changed using the Move option. The polyline can be broken by creating a gap in between. For this, select the Break option, and then specify the vertexes between which you want to create a gap. Click on Go once you have specified the vertexes. Since we created a gap between the polyline, so when we select it now, you can see that it's divided into different portions. The width of the polyline can also be altered. Select the object again, using the Edit Polyline option, and from the options, click on Width. Specify its value, and the width will increase accordingly. There are several more options that you can apply on a polyline to edit it once it has already been made.